This video from Casio Hill, we're taking a quick look at PLU programming on the SEC range of registers. A uh, quick word of warning, on the machines as standard, you've got 72 buttons here which are technically department buttons unless you've had some really weird programming done on the machine. Um, and you use the department buttons for your individual item sales so you may not want to program PLUs so if you're looking to program these buttons check out my department video programming instructions um, PLUs are sold via the PLU button as I said unless you've got some strange programming on the machine if you're unsure just ring a sale through one of the buttons and it will tell you whether it's departments or PLUs so my machine these are departments I can still use PLUs, but I'm going to so I'm going to show you how to program them. But I just wanted to get that out of the way at the first, so there was no awkwardness between us. Um, so PLU programming, key to PGM, arrow down to PLU setting, CA amount ten to enter, and then you can either press cash to go to the list of PLUs, or you can if you're programming a specific number, you can type that in and then press CA amount ten. I'm just going to go straight to my list. So you can see I've got a couple already programmed in there. So I'm now going to add a third PLU and then I'm going to use the show you how selling the PLUs works. Programming is really straightforward. If you've done department programming, it's virtually the same. Delete the default Casio description. Type in your description here. Arrow down to the price. Tax, if you're not doing tax on the machine or it's a non-tax product, leave it as non-tax. If you are, then you just press cash amount end and then choose one of the tax rates, the appropriate tax rate, depending on what you've set up. If you're unsure about the tax programming, mean, I've got plenty of other videos showing you how to do that. Um, department link, obviously this is where you assign the PLU to a department. Um, Again, just be wary about these buttons here. If you've got these already set up, you just want to be careful about which department you're assigning your products to. Uh, so if department one here was fruit, then that would make sense to assign it to department one. However, if this one here was a preset product, um, then you might want to have a, have a think about which departments to link to. I don't use groups. Um, it can If you use groups and departments, it can cause a lot of confusion on the reporting. Um, so this is my I'm recommending that you just use the group uh, departments. I mean, you can always program one product and then test it out on the reports to see how it appears and if you like how the reporting information shows it. Um, but yeah, we can look at that in more detail in another video. Open PLU. So this is if the PLU has a variable price. Mine doesn't, and I guess most PLUs wouldn't have a variable price because the point is you're programming a specific product which presumably has a price as well as description but I'll show you how that works because I've set PLU2 up as a open PLU and to do that all you do is change the no to yes um, but yeah that's it for this product so we're going to subtotal to save it subtotal subtotal to return to the main menu and then back in the reg mode we can now get rid of this alpha overlay and we can sell so we've got three PLUs programmed we've got one PLU Apple, free PLU which you just saw me program banana. You can do multiples of them, so 10 times 1 PLU, 2 times 3 PLU, and then your open PLU, it's a bit weird, it's 2 PLU, then you type in the price and then you hit the price key. So you can it's that's how you do a variable price PLU. Okay, I hope that's uh, made sense and been relatively straightforward. We've got more programming videos appearing on screen now, including how to set up your departments, which might be more applicable, depending on your setup. Uh, you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.